need a box. I got an infection. What you mean you got an infection? What did he say? Oh. This is the holy grail of Aruba. Stop reading things on the internet. Guess what did not arrive last night? The food. As you just saw. Look at it. This is all ours. And there's a view. I just can't wait to get in this water. I'm so excited. We also just went to the grocery store and just got some basics and it was only $63 for all of our basics. That's crazy. Glad we picked up some stuff because they don't have nothing. We've got our choice of wine and spirits. That's what we spent the majority of our money on when we got here. $100 on liquor, $63 on groceries. Well, they sauce is meat. Oh, well, they definitely taste like meat. Mm. This is our first meal in Aruba, hot dogs with bolognese flavored Lay's chips, which tastes like yeah. bologna to me. And we just got done eating and Babe started exploring and found stairs that we believe lead to the root. I mean, I did so good finding this Airbnb. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna propose to me? Damn, no Damn this is a perfect proposal. Right in that corner. So we had a wonderful day today at our Airbnb. We have a pool and we were maximum relaxation time. We got in the pool. Well, one, we ate hot dogs. I know, weird, but you do what you gotta do. We love hot dogs, right? We also love hot dogs. The pool water is so warm. It was amazing. And now we are staying in for the night. We had, you know, pretty eventful day traveling and we're gonna stay in and we just ordered some tacos from a local place that's gonna be delivered and tomorrow the plan is to actually go running in the morning yay, yay. go get some pastries because for some reason babe is in the mood to eat bread and so i'm taking no, advantage of this danish danish is bread cheese <laughs> On the like honey type thing. He wants to eat a date, like he wants a pastry. That's a, you know, a Danish is a pastry, babe. Danish is a pastry. Yeah, Danish is a pastry. <laughs> a Danish is a pastry. A Danish is a pastry. Yeah, a Danish is a pastry. <laughs> so he wants Danish, so I'm taking advantage of this opportunity to go to a fresh local bakery. Hopefully we can find the one that we had seen online. And then we're gonna just kind of explore mm. Aruba mm. on our own. And Wednesday, we've got some activities planned. So far, we both love it. Like, hands down, one of the best Airbnbs we've ever stayed at, right? Yeah. 
one of the best locations obviously we're in aruba so the weather is fantastic like the pool water is amazing and the weather itself is just like perfect right so we love it here we're moving here uh, we live in aruba now we won't be coming back to america um yep so we'll see you in the morning actually we'll see you when our tacos arrive hopefully we're not sleeping and then we'll see you in the morning Good morning, people. It's our forced, forced, it's our first morning in Aruba. We have our coffee. I've gone ahead and eaten some cereal, ate, I ate some cereal because guess what did not arrive last night? The food. We also saw fireworks last night, which was awesome. Like what a way to end off our first you know, travel night in Aruba was to see fireworks from the hotels that we can clearly see a perfect view of from our Airbnb. So it was great. We are about to start off our vacation in the perfect way, which is to continue our running journey in our marathon training. And Babe found a two to three mile loop that we're gonna run. I did not bring my Apple Watch because I knew I was gonna lose it. So I'm gonna be tracking it on my Run Tracker app on my phone. After that, we plan on just doing some exploring in town. And my face is so shiny because I just put on sunscreen. But we booked some. We booked an excursion yesterday too. We went ahead and booked a sunset cruise. And I'm emailing the people now to see if we can add on dinner to make it super fancy. But. Starting off our morning in the best way with coffee and a run. Four twenty six, forty twenty six, total time. It's like thirteen twenty eight pace, but I did like I was slow. Oh, this is not the way to get out. I was a little bit slow when it came to pausing my watch if I want to take a picture. But regardless, I'm going for distance after time, and it's so beautiful to run here. So it seemed somewhat easy, still like a medium, like a medium. It wasn't easy. All right, everyone. We just put on our sunscreen. I did Bay's hair. It looks really good. And we're gonna go check out Aruba. Like, we're just gonna go over there and just look at it. Now, we're planning on driving into town or like near all the uh, resorts. And I'm wearing my bathing suit underneath this really awesome sundress, very sexy. So I can quickly hop in the water because you already know, I hopped into the pool right after that run. So here we go. We have made it to Palm Beach. We are just walking in the wind and we found all these shops. Number one, it's called the Cove actually. Number two, it's as windy as everyone says it is. They were right. They were correct. <laughs> Number three, this is like, really nice parking is free if you can get on the side of the road which you definitely can and yeah we're just gonna see what we can find yolo, YOLO. that's is actually the name of that yeah. place right no one there. uses that word anymore i, I know and my little dress is just flowing away 
Hopefully people don't get ideas. There's a bathing suit under here, people. There's a bathing suit under here. Oh, look, a little mall directory. Beach and Flips? I'm going Beach and Flips. Oh, you and your sunglasses. He loves sunglasses. You have a problem. And it says sale. He buys a pair of sunglasses everywhere we go. And, oh, they have designer too. Great. Great. Gucci, Gucci. Look how big this watch is, guys. You think you could pull it off? We have drove all over Aruba. No, literally, we drove to the south end of the island, just the other side, to check out this place called Sea Rover, which was highly recommended from my cousin, also highly recommended online. And we have made it, and guess what we found? Because Babe's been asking all the essential questions, like, where's the gas station? Where are all the cops? Where's the hospital? Shut up, you're ruining the vacation. No, we found a gas station. Right, you got bit twice. I get, I'm bit everywhere. Whoever said there's no mosquitoes in Aruba? Thanks for lying to me. But I thought fleas couldn't last on the skin that long. Too. I told you wrong. Yes, they can. I should stop reading things on the internet. Today, we did a three mile run to start off our morning. And then we, what else did we do? We came back, I got in the pool, did a quick dip, and then we decided to explore Aruba on our own. Yeah, we did Palm Beach, which is the more popular. And we kind of walked around, looked at the shops. What we've noticed is like, we think Aruba is popping at nighttime. Like we think it starts getting hyped after five o'clock. Because both in Eagle and Palm Beach, it was very, Kind of lackluster, yeah. Um, we also decided to try, oh, I forgot the name, babe. Zero Rover. Zero Rovers. Delicious. So freshest good. Seafood we've ever had. Yeah, some of the freshest seafood you'll ever have. I mean, they catch it and they like cook it right there. We actually saw, we saw, we saw the wheelbarrow fish. Yeah, we did see the wheelbarrow Come fish that, had, the that was just freshly uh, cleaned. Yeah. So, Definitely a stop if you're coming to Aruba. You need to go to Zero Rovers. The only thing is we went like high noon right at lunchtime and you will spend an hour just waiting in line for people to order. And I don't even, we don't understand why it took so long because they only have seven things on the menu. Like, what are you deciding on? We ordered in less than 60 seconds, let's be honest. We were like, give us everything on the menu. Thank you. <laughs> we're new here. We're new here. We want to try everything on the menu. Thanks, bye. They're like Thank you. I know, thank, thank you. you, yeah. And then we had a little mishap when we originally sat down, almost got mad at this lady because she took our table, but. She almost went into a ruby in jail. Oh. <laughs> she was rude about it. When people are entitled, it's annoying. And then it was so much shrimp. 
it was yeah it was so like at the end like it was the freshest shrimp i've had but i would never eat that much seafood ever again or force myself because we felt like crap after because we had just we were trying not to waste any of it and like have it in the car because we still wanted to drive around but turns out we ate all that and we didn't even want to get out of the car so it didn't matter <laughs> so okay. we probably only needed like half of what we had like yeah. 20 shrimp yeah and the 20 shrimp probably would have set us off because they're like three times bigger than the shrimp you see in the U.S., first of all. Yeah. And the heads are still on, but even with the heads off, they're still a bigger shrimp. Um, babes tried to hide this good-ass, uh, what's it called, babe? Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. You don't even know what it is. It's mine. So amazing. I was like, what's that over there? He's like, oh, this is tartar sauce. I was like, I love tartar sauce. He goes, I didn't know you liked tartar sauce. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You didn't know the name of it. Yes, you did, though. I liked it. And they also had pickled onions that you eat with it, and it cuts some of the, like, seafoodness. It The most delicious thing I've ever put in my mouth is, like, pickled red onion. And then after um, we drove to Aranjistan, not our vibe, none of the stores were really, like, I don't know. So, I think it's very touristy. Right? Yeah, very tourist. Put a hodgepodge of stores in a couple blocks of a run instead. And everything around it is just like, hey, we're trying to open, but we don't know what we want to do yet. So I think it needs a little bit more development, but. Oh. It's the shrimps. Oh! <laughs> shrimps. Hey! That smells so bad. Like shrimp, right? It smells worse than that. What's about it? Your mouth, like your stomach. Food. It smells like the shrimps have already been digested. They are. Mayo in a tube, anyone? You want mustard on both sides? Yeah, and I said, right I said when you're done watching. I mean, I can help. them what we've done today. Very chill day. Okay. Welcome to our day number two, full day in Aruba. Today yeah. was super chill. So we went, we decided we wanted to go to a beach, right? We didn't know exactly which one it was. We didn't want to go to a beach where it didn't have any shade or umbrella type feature. But we found this one, this is Palm Beach, right? But it's like, it's, I, yeah, I think Eagle. it's, oh, Eagle Beach? Yeah. But still, it's it's like out the way. I don't even think this is like the main no. part of it. We're kind of out of the way. Kind of like how we like it. You know, we go into ocean when we want to. It's not too crowded right now, although we could see um, potential, like mm -hmm. potential issues with that. If it could be crowded around about five o'clock. But it's actually very nice. But we've been chilling out here. Drinking beer, eating good ass sandwiches. I know, I made, she made, good she made sandwiches. some bomb sandwiches today. And then tonight we had a sunset cruise and what is it's a sunset and sunset dinner. Sunset and dinner. So we're gonna show you guys that in a bit, but right now we're just chilling on the beach. More material to come. More material to come. We made it back and guess what we're doing? We got back in the pool. Of course, because why not? 
And now we're about to make some drinks and do some pool quickly before we have to start getting ready for our sunset cruise. We're going on a sunset cruise, right? And it's a beautiful day to have a cruise. So she is wearing the colorful yet elegant sexiness that she chose. Where's it from, babe? Mm -hmm. Where's it from? Amazon. No, I was just, I wanted to see how good we look. We look so good. We look so good. We look good. Watch your step. We're walking to our yacht. <laughs> we're a little bit late, right? Well, we wanted a souvenir shop beforehand. That's not happening. <laughs> Public computer. Or you can get drinks right here, which is what I would prefer. About to run. It's day full day three. Day three in Aruba. And we got yesterday was so much fun. We got very tipsy. We drank a lot of cheap alcohol. And we're about to see how this run goes. So <laughs> I feel strong. Run with us in Aruba day three. We did it guys. Oh my gosh, look at my shirt. We ran two miles exactly. Perfect. Oh my god. Perfect run. Especially after drinking all evening. And we have this beautiful scenery. And my time wasn't bad. His was probably slower because he was running with me. But yeah. my time was good because I was running with him. I did a little sprint at the end. Yeah. So today we are going to do an ATV day. And go around to all the cool sites that you can't see with your car. Um, so we're going to go home and shower and then that after we sit and enjoy You're this view. I know. Right. <laughs> oh look Lucas.
have made it to our first stop on our ATV tour to this beautiful beach. And we, well, I couldn't resist to get in. And then he also came with me. Not as packed, very secluded. Crystal clear waters. Very nice. I got multiple thoughts. So the first one is that false <laughs> advertisement. <laughs> they said this was the most quiet, secluded beach. And it is the most busiest beach that we've been to. Like, let me show you. Hell yeah. Just chill. I got an infection. What do you mean you got an infection? What did he say? Why are you so far from me? Hey, party people. Ooh. Always. Had a little schmutz. Babe made some amazing wings. They came pre-seasoned. And if you just saw, we were at the beach. It was nice. We had a good time. It what was, was the name of the beach, babe? Arashi. It was just really packed. For how small it is. But we were still able to have good seats and stuff. And we were able to, I actually feel very comfortable leaving my stuff on the beach. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a family vibe. And then um, if you get there early enough, it's not that bad. We were there at nine. 
People start showing up around about 11. Yeah. <clears throat> so it wasn't an issue, like, getting a seat. Like, our own seat. Because the umbrellas, like, the... What would you call it? Like, the natural little huts they have on the beach? Those are public. Huts. <clears throat> if you want to get an umbrella with, like, chairs, that'll cost you. And it, he said it was $35. Yeah. Babe said he... Um, that's what he said. But I feel like... Anywhere you are on the beach, you can still, Jesus, it's hot. You can still somewhat see your stuff. It is a family vibe, just like you said. And I feel like if anyone was sketchy kind of walking around, like even if they took the stuff, someone would have told us like, hey, there was someone sketchy walking around and they took your stuff. You didn't tell them about the, mm. hold on, spice. It's fuzzy, right? You didn't tell them about this. This is the holy grail of Aruba. Whenever you come, you need to get this hot sauce. End of vlog right here. Papaya <laughs> hot sauce. They need to sponsor me. And they make other ones. They have like a, mm -hmm. a mango one. So this is what papaya tastes like? It tastes good. It tastes good spicy. <laughs> so the wings themselves are actually very good without hot sauce. We just added a little bit. Because we're extra. I like a little kick. But if you're going to Superfoods to pick up your groceries, they have pre-seasoned meat and pre-seasoned like steaks and sausage. And mm -hmm. I saw the wings and I was like, oh, let's pick up some wings. And that's perfect if you're staying in an Airbnb because you don't want to buy a bunch of seasoning that you can't take back with you. And we were just concerned, like, I wonder how they'll taste if they're like over-seasoned. You know, it might be an issue, but they were seasoned perfectly. Mm -hmm. We can't even determine, like, what they were seasoned with because it's so good. Well, some spices that we don't recognize because we don't use it in America. Mm-hmm. But we're having a good day. Came back from the beach, did a little pool dip. Now we're just eating. Checked on the dog. He's fine, of course. Hello everyone, we are at our beach actually, close to our house, waiting for our dinner reservation. Just watching the sunset and this party boat. It's, 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 it's. Same question. Mm -hmm. Why do you take that flip feature away from that home? I never knew we had it. Hello. Hi. Just watching the sunset. It's a bug. Just following your own. Welcome to our day five, full day five in Aruba. It's our last day here. We're doing some souvenir shopping and in, in- I have no idea what I'm doing in Dubai. In <laughs> well, we have an idea what we're gonna get ourselves. We're gonna get this cool piece of art that we saw in the store. And then we're gonna get our family and friends a couple of souvenirs, some basic ones. Magnets, keychains, maybe some t-shirts, I don't know. But we're walking past Gianni's. So come with us. 
found this cool wall of fame here. Just to get out to the to the boat we're getting on. Take a small boat to the lake. Our rental car now. Breakfast wasn't that great, but we'll, uh, we'll have to divulge a little bit when we're in the airport. We're going to explain how we get to the airport in Aruba. Very easy steps, right? Super easy steps. So you walk in. Step one. And you got to walk in. Walk into the airport. Try and find U.S. first. Try to find your U.S. departures because it's not easily to do when you come in. Mm -hmm. Check your bag. Because you can't put your own bag tag on it. You can't put your own bag tag on it. So you wait in line, you check your bag, and then they say they tell you where to go. You go and you're waiting in line for a security checkpoint. For someone just to check your passport and your boarding pass. At this particular security checkpoint, uh, it's outside. It's outside, so you're waiting in the human and then in the human side and then this one was so busy that we had to go to the non USA side. Mm -hmm. Which is the side that we originally came from because we didn't know where it was. Yeah. So we get over there and then what else happened? So he's oh, gonna oh, check your boarding pass and sure. passport. Yeah. Then you're gonna go inside the building where they We'll check your boarding pass and passport. You gotta make sure that boarding pass. You're gonna walk about 50 feet and someone's gonna check. <laughs> so we done checked our boarding pass and passport three times now. And we haven't even made it through security. So then you're gonna go through security after that point. So then you go through security and you go through the x-rays and everything. And then once you leave, you gotta go get your baggage. Which we did not know. I was at the gift shop. So we were at the gift shop, just shopping around, <laughs> thinking that oh, we about to get some hot sauce. Get some hot sauce. Get some t-shirts. Looking good. And the lady just stole hot sauce. She out literally of your took hand. it out of my hands. And just basically told us that she didn't know if we could have that on. Go through security, security checkpoint. With it. Yeah. So we were like, "What? Security? Another one? Who? <laughs> huh? So." We then go to another security checkpoint where they check our border pass and passport. And then we go. And then we go through customs. Well, we or was get that our customs? Bag. Did we get our bag first? We got our bag already. 
We got our bag. So after we left the after we left the store. We oh yeah! After we left the store, we went through security again. Yes. Then we go get our bag and we walk through immigration with it. I think we messed this up. Really. No, we didn't. We did it right. We walked through immigration with it because they have to. Oh yeah, yeah we did. Right? We did. We because did. you got to you got to claim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we walked through immigration and they checked our boarding pass and, so. and passport. <laughs> Did yeah. we mention they checked it at the second security? They got, they got to check it. So when we leave there, we then we're at our gate area, right? And for the U.S. side, it feels like they only have two gates, but they have like seven. It's mm -hmm. just the it's way, way it's worse down there too. It's way it's the way it's secluded. So this is where we're at right now. You just do a little pain. This is the best part, $9 waters. $9 waters. Yeah. Well, we spent and we had a whole six pack for $6, I believe. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was a nine pack, 12 pack, 12 pack. Yeah. Anyway. That's crazy. They got, no story. got some balashi in there too. And we here until, they got balashi in there, it's probably they got $30. Trim. I know. Here until another hour. We got another hour. So. We'll check in to see if we survived the flight.